Hello, in this first tutorial of chapter 5, I'm going to explain about work and going to do few questions related to work. Okay, okay, so let's list down few important things that you need to remember for this chapter. Okay, so work is a dot product or scalar product, okay, between force and displacement. Okay, so we can express it as work equal to f dot s and f s cos theta where theta is the angle between force and displacement okay since it's force times displacement times with cos theta so this means theta equal to 90 degree it will equal to zero that's why we need to always refer to the force that is parallel to the displacement that will give the maximum work done. Okay, next, the unit of work is joule or newton second. And for work, we have positive work and negative work. Okay, so what does it mean with positive and negative work? Okay, although we know that it's color products of positive and negative, doesn't mean it have the direction. Okay, positive mean that it, the work done is on the system. Negative mean that the work done is by the system. Okay, let's look at the first question where a person lifts an object of mass 1.5 kg vertically upward through a distance 2 meter with a constant speed. A constant speed means that acceleration equal to 0 meter per second square. Okay, so first you need to draw. What do you understand? Okay, so we have an object being lifted through a distance of 2 meter okay and the object have weight and we have a force that is used to lift the object upward okay so we need to find the work done by the system so work done by the system will be the force applied to lift the object upward so force times weight s that is displacement times weight cos theta okay and the force is equal to the weight Force, we replace it with mg and multiply with displacement time with cos theta. Okay, so in the box table of forces, I already show why the forces equal to weight. This is because at particular motion, f net equal to zero. That's why f equal to weight. Okay, done writing the equation, substitute all the information given. Okay. And the angle between F and S is 0. So the final answer will be 29.43 Joule. Okay, so let's proceed with question B. Okay, where we want to find the work done by the gravitational force on the object. So gravitational force is equal to weight. So mg times weight S times weight cos theta. And the angle between gravitational force and displacement is 180 degree okay so you will get negative 29.43 joule okay the negative sign mean that the work is done by the system okay so the work total is we sum up the force uh, the work done by the force applied to lift the object up and the work done by the gravitational force so we get zero joule Okay, next proceed with question 2 where we have a force of magnitude 30 newton okay, act on an object of mass 2 kg which is placed on a rough inclined plane. Okay, so this means we have friction. The object moved up the plane through 2 meter okay, and acted by a constant friction force of 5 newton. So we want to find the total work done by force, friction and weight. Okay, so first we need to grow the inclined plane okay so we have an object on an inclined plane and move through a distance of two meter so we have x and y axis okay so write all the forces acting on the object so we have force okay that is 30 newton that used to push the object upward Okay, and we have weight that is downward. Okay. Next, we have normal force since the object 
is located on a surface okay and the for forces acting on the object is the friction force okay that oppose the motion of the object moving upward okay the inclined plane has an angle of 45 degree okay so first we need to draw the free body diagram to identify all the forces acting on the object okay each of the forces will contribute to the work done on the system depending on the angle between the force and the displacement okay so here we have friction force new uh, normal and also weight okay and we have weight and also forces that need to be resolved okay so let's solve the first one that is to find the work done by the force that used to lift up the object through a distance of two meter Okay, so work done equal to Fs cos theta where the angle between F and S is 45 degrees. So the answer will be 42.43 joule. And for the work done by the friction, okay, the angle is 180 degrees. So substitute all the information, we get negative 10 joule. Okay, that is the work done by the friction. And the work done by the gravitational force that is weight. Okay, so mg times with displacement times with cos theta where the angle between gravitational force and displacement is 135 degree where it's 90 degree plus with 45 degree so we get 135 degree so that we get the answer to be negative 27.75 joule so the total force uh, sorry the total work done acting on the object is 4.6 at your so that's all don't forget to subscribe thank you